First of all, we'll hear from the author, Molly Scott Cater. Thank you, President. It's 20 years since we last debated an urgency resolution on the situation in Brazil, so our consideration of the plight of Brazil's indigenous communities is long overdue. The Brazilian constitution recognises the rights of indigenous peoples to maintain their cultural traditions. The basis of our resolution today is to remind the current government of Brazil to live up to its clear obligations as enshrined in this constitution. Our motion is focused on the urgent situation facing the Guarani Kiowa in the state of Mato Grosso do Sul. As is the case for all Brazil's indigenous people, the Guarani Kiowa have the right to their ancestral territory guaranteed in the constitution. But this right in theory is not adequately defended in practice. A full demarcation of their lands is still outstanding, though crucial to their survival. Information from Brazil's Ministry of Health states that over the past 14 years, at least 400 indigenous people have been assassinated defending their land rights. The interests of large landowners, agribusiness and mining corporations have always taken precedence in Brazil and armed groups attack and kill indigenous people who legitimately oppose those interests. Far from defending their rights, the state offers such powerful interests impunity. Brazil's National Indigenous Foundation, FUNAI, is tasked with defending indigenous rights, but it has never been adequately resourced, and the current president, who holds his position as the result of a judicial coup, has reduced their funding to the lowest level in the past 10 years. There is wide support in this house for our motion, which strongly condemns the violence perpetrated against the indigenous communities and calls on the Brazilian authorities to investigate the murders of indigenous people. I would also strongly appeal to my colleagues in the Brazilian Parliament to re-examine the constitutional amendment PEC 215 as it threatens the leg legitimate land rights of indigenous people. Thank you very much.